All right, welcome to another Ken Tech video. Um, on this one, I'm going to be discussing his standing hard punch again. What a great button! Uh, but this time, instead of using a crush counter, this is without crush counter, and basically, if it's meaty enough on your opponent's wake up, you get an extra frame, which means run cancel combos that normally don't work will now work. So, for example, standing fierce with the jab is not a combo, unless you get a crush counter, right? Well, if you get the meaty setup, you can add an extra frame and it'll actually combo, because you can do this normally, because um, Tatsu is three frames, right? Uh, jab is four frames, so that's why this doesn't work. It's only one frame in the difference. You can also do this because light uppercut is only three frames as well. But again, jab, standing light kick, or crouching jab, or whatever, it's four frames. Draw four frames. So that doesn't work. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. But if we get a meaty, so Ken's gonna do. Let's put him on normal recovery. For this first example because um, it's really hard to do this manually so you want to have a consistent setup you want to have it to work on certain situations so if you swept somebody and you did a normal recovery this is a situation where it would work consistently and you would just have to dash so sweep dash first punch run right and then the jab will actually be two hit combo instead of it not being a combo at all. Because normally it's not a combo. Huh, I missed it that time. See? Two hit combo. So of course you can extend that into whatever combo you want to do. Um, which makes it really pretty powerful, I think. Uh, the only problem is you can't confirm, or I can't, this. I mean, if the someone blocks that, you're in trouble, you know what I mean? So you kind of want to do it if you have a good read on your opponent, or if you're, you know, it's even a good little option when you're trying to get a crush counter, and you don't get the crush counter, but you round anyway, and the jab works, and then you always, if you always wondered why, that's why you were meaty. The other instance I found it works out without having to manually time is crouching medium punch, or actually any combo that ends in an ex uppercut, pretty much. So like. I didn't even combo that, hold on. Again, it's a uh, that one dash, standing heavy punch, run. Dash. Dash. Two hit combo, see? So, as long as it's uh, meaty enough, it'll work. Um, now that's when you're on normal rise. If you do a back roll in any of those situations, you gotta like delay by like a frame or two, and it's a bit insane. So I don't really recommend it. Um, but um, if they're doing back recovery on your heavy tatsu combos, I found that's another time you can use it. So if I was doing and he did back recovery, it'll be two hit combo. I missed it that time, so let's try again. There it is, two hit combo. So again, back roll, he's doing back roll, I'm doing a, a combo that ends in heavy tatsu. I mean, either one, this one. That'll work too. Ah, oh, I missed it. I think this one's a bit harder for some reason. There it is, okay. Uh, I just need to practice it like anything. It does take some practice. The timing does feel a little different than your regular combo off the counter, uh, you know, when you do a crush counter, you got more time, so it definitely feels more awkward, and it even feels different than doing, like, that. That's a bit faster, too, because you get that extra frame from, uh, it's like Ryu is reeling back for an extra frame, and that one little frame can make all the difference in the world, so, either way, have fun playing with that, that's, uh, that's all I have on that. Um, again, it's not, uh, one more note, again, it's not that's safe. So don't go too crazy with it. It's just something to note, something to play with. Alright, thanks. Have a good one.